Ever wonder what it would be like to own a $14 million VIP helicopter? Specifically, the Airbus H160? Absolutely, Nitin. We can go inside. The Airbus Helicopters H160 is a medium-sized utility helicopter developed by Airbus. The H160 was first revealed to the public in 2011. At that point, was referred to by the company representatives as the designation X4, a designation which implied it to be a follow-up on the Eurocopters X3 which was a high-speed hybrid helicopter technology demonstrator. The Airbus Helicopters H160 takes advantage of several advanced manufacturing technologies and materials in order to produce a lighter, more efficient design. One weight-saving measure was the replacement of conventional hydraulic landing gear and brakes with electrical counterparts, the first helicopter in the world to do so. According to Airbus, the elimination of hydraulic components makes the rotorcraft both lighter and safer. In 2015, Airbus claimed that the all-composite H160 would deliver the same basic performance as the rival Augusta Westland AW139, while being one tone lighter. Having a lower fuel consumption and offering 15 to 20% lower direct operating costs, the composite fuselage also provides for greater design freedom of the rotorcraft's external styling. During the aircraft's development features such as full de-icing equipment and a fly-by-wire control system were deemed too heavy or costly for the benefits involved and were eliminated. The H160 is the first rotorcraft to feature the Blue Edge 5 bladed main rotor. This incorporated a double sweep shape that reduces the noise generation of blade vortex interactions, a phenomenon which occurs when the blade impacts a vortex created at its tip resulting in a 3 to 4 dB noise reduction and raising the effective payload by 100 kilograms. Compared with the scaled Eurocopter A635 Dolphin rotor design, aerodynamic innovations include a biplane tailplane stabilizer for greater low speed stability and a quarter canted fenestron which combined produced an extra 80 kilograms of lift. The H-160 is the first civilian helicopter to utilize this anti-torque tail rotor. It is powered by two Turbo Mecha Ariano turboshaft engines, and the second engine being the Pratt & Whitney Canada PW210E. The starting price for an H-160 is $14 million, up to $18 million, and has entered service in Japan, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, and Europe, while the entire fleet has accumulated more than 17,000 flight hours. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now back to the video. Some people say that flying first class is the best experience anybody can have, while others say it's definitely the most comforting experience you can have on an airplane 35,000 feet above the ground. And so when we think about robots in the sky, most often it's probably recalling some sci-fi anime manga or film. 
But actually, in fact, that notion of robots in the sky being related to anything sci-fi or paranormal or superhuman is kind of outdated. Because living in the year 2023 with supersonic boom jets that are able to fly from Vancouver to Sydney in less than 5 hours and giant airliners like the Airbus A380 which even has a shower on board a commercial airline for first class passengers then the idea of humanoid robots on a commercial airplane shouldn't be so far off. In fact Huge aviation groups like the Airbus Group have teamed up with Robotics Laboratory to launch a new joint research program that aims to develop humanoid robots that will be used for aviation manufacturing. The project is called Colmanoid, which stands for Multi-Contact Collaborative Humanoids. By combining Japanese expertise in hardware and robotics, along with advanced French knowledge of mathematics and algorithms, the joint venture encourages initial progress in fields such as robot design and haptics, as well as tactile perception and continuous KDAR. The team spoke and said building on these achievements would develop multi-contact locomotion, which enables humanoid robots to move using not just their feet, but also other body parts such as elbows, knees, and hands as a human would when crawling. A new breed of humanoid robots. While in South Korea, a company called Kaste have gone beyond the research of developing unmanned aircrafts to testing humanoid robots designed to operate a regular aircraft by sitting in the pilot seat and using controls just like a human would. But all of this is just boring, to be honest. What if we could have humanoid human-like female robots with giant boobs be our flight attendants or have personal companion robots in first class. But if so, then you would probably want to exercise some caution around the private onboard shower on the Airbus A380. Otherwise, you could maybe find yourself being electrocuted on an airplane. Probably not the steamy electrical scenario you were hoping for. Because they're robots, right? Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video.